Well, it's a great pleasure to speak to the best and fairest in the second division A grade netball. They've had a wonderful year, Seville. They've won two premierships. They were runners-up in the A grade, but uh, I suppose, Steph McNay, this sort of softens the blow a little bit, doesn't it? You didn't win the flag, but you still won the best and fairest. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing on Saturday not to get the win, but um, I guess this makes it a little better than not getting the win on Saturday. Can I ask what went wrong? Um, yeah, he's just a strong team. They've got good players across the whole court, so it's just, you know, us just needing to play our game to beat them, but unfortunately we haven't been able to do it this year. Still would have been a great celebration. I mean, the seniors won the footy and you've won two netball flags as well. It would have been a big night for the club. Yeah, it was a very big night for the club. It was really good. <laughs> All six teams in finals, so that's what you want. And were you best on ground off the court or, or, or you kept yourself nice and quiet? No, I kept myself nice and quiet. <laughs> and this is your second year at Seville. Where were you before that? Um, I played down at uh, Mountain District, so um, Knox area. Yeah. And what's the difference between the standard of netball and the clubs or, or are they all pretty similar? Um, there's actually quite a big difference. Um, the footy league is a lot stronger than what it is down in um, the Knox area. I think a lot of players over the years have slowly gravitated to the footy netball league rather than the league at Knox. So it's definitely a stronger competition and it's more of a club feel up here as well. Well, congratulations on the award. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Congratulations to Caitlin Black from Mount Evelyn who won the A grade best and fairest for Division 1. Congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a surprise, actually. You didn't give yourself a chance? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, uh, as head coach this year, it's, I've sort of spent the whole time just focusing on what everyone else is doing, so it's really nice to feel like the umpires have noticed, I guess, what we're doing as a club. How tough is it to be head coach and also play to the optimum level? Obviously, you found it... Well, you said it was a challenge, yeah, but it's obviously yeah. worked for you. Yeah, it's really difficult. I mean, I guess it's a, a positive that I've got some family members in the team. I get to coach my sister and my cousin, but that also comes with challenges, I think. Sometimes you don't want to hear feedback from your own family, so I'm really lucky. The girls are amazing, and to, we've had such a good year that I haven't had to be too harsh, which is nice. It helps when they just do the game plan, and I don't have to comment too much. But, yeah, it's been a big year, a big year for the club. Have they done better than you thought they would? Yeah, we got all four teams into finals, which is phenomenal. Um, and A grade, we've gone all the way, so we've got our grand final on this Sunday. So, just one more game to go. And you're feeling good about that? Confident? Yeah, look, finals is anyone's game. Um, I think, I mean, we've had the win against this team every time we've met, but that means nothing. They're a really talented side. We're coming up against Monbolt. So, really, it's just, you got to go out there, do the basics right, and see who takes it. What was the aim at the start of the year? I mean, obviously, you want to play grand finals. Did you realistically think you were good enough? Oh, it's really hard to know and you look on paper and think that yeah we're going to be competitive but you just particularly in this league I think there's so many girls playing higher and coming and going and it's just who can be consistent throughout the year and I knew we'd be in with a shot but um, we finished second so we weren't the best but we've just had a phenomenal final series so far and I really believe that the girls can do it. So. And you're up against uh, one of the best coaches in the competition, yeah. uh, are you looking forward to testing yourself? I know you've played against her quite a few times this yeah. year, Christine yeah. Pobolo yeah. from Mombulk. Um, obviously the challenge of coming up against one of the best is, is something that you strive to achieve as well, isn't it? Well, I mean, Christina, I've got to say, she pretty much taught me everything I know about netball. She was my coach for a long time and so I hope I've taken a lot of good things from her to, to teach. It'll be interesting. I think we know each other's game plans very well and I think we actually match up really well. So it'll be a good challenge. Yeah. You ever give the team a spray or that's not in your DNA? Oh, I've done it a few times, definitely. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine that. I'd love to see nah, it. It's called for every now and again. So yeah, I think so. Good, so, yep. Well, good luck. Uh, you had a magnificent night tonight. You won the best and fairest. And may you go one step uh, better in the grand final on Sunday and, and keep up what has been a great year for Mount Evelyn. Well done. Thank you so much. Good on you. Thanks. Thank you. Well, a regular winner of best and fairest, certainly for the Cranbourne Netball Club when they were in the Sefnor, now they're in the Outer East. Things don't change. Uh, Tara Cecil's done it again. Uh, the A grade best and fairest in Netball. Well done, Tara. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Were you confident? Look, this league has so many amazing players, so as much as I thought I did have a great season, there is so many amazing players that could have won it tonight, so I wasn't confident. I was confident in my season, but I knew there was many other amazing players out there tonight. 
Do you think you as a player, I mean, you, you've dominated the Sefnil needed a change and the change has been good for you and you've become a better player playing against different teams? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you get familiar with the same players you play on every single year because they generally are the same players. But to come into a new league with girls you've literally never seen before, it was a great challenge. It was great to play against teams. You literally had no idea what they were going to do and how they were going to play. So I absolutely did love that about this year, 100%. Happy with the teams here? Happy with what? The teams here. Oh, my team, absolutely. So, I mean, this year, I mean, sorry, this week, obviously, we've got to come out with the win to make it to the grand final, and we absolutely can. So, yeah, I'm more than happy with how we've progressed this year, 100%. Well, you know Beacons feel well, so um, there shouldn't be, when I say too many problems, there will be problems. Sometimes when you know a team well, that can go against you, can't it? Absolutely. I mean, I feel like with Beaconsfield, it's they win, we win, they win, we win. It l literally comes down to who is better on the day with Beaconsfield. You know, we've got, I feel like we've got very similar matchups in terms of who's, like, no one is better. It literally is who is better on the day. So we'll have to see what happens this Saturday. Surprised about how good a Linda is? Not at all. I mean, look at their lineup. They are just from goal shooter to goalkeeper. They're just the depth is amazing. Like there is not one position where they're out of order type thing. They just know how each other plays, and every single position is absolutely incredible. So they deserve to be where they are, and it doesn't surprise me if they take it out this year. They're just incredible. Well, good luck on the weekend. Congratulations on the award tonight, and I hope it goes well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Get your game face on.